Assalamualaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قالوا لم نك من المصلين ولم نك نطعم المسكين وكنا نخوض مع الخائضين وكنا نكذب بيوم الدين حتى أتانا اليقين Today I want to share with you a very brief uh, but a very powerful, I feel, set of ayat that communicate a message that gets so often overlooked. Allah Azza wa Jal describes people in Jannah first that are having a conversation with each other and they're wondering what happened. What do you think happened to the people in Jahannam? And then immediately the scene switches over to the people in Jahannam and as they're being thrown in, they're being asked, مَا سَلَكَكُمْ فِي سَقَرْ What led you to this place? Oh my God! Why were you so unintelligent? How could you have done the, made the decisions in your life that got you here? And so they respond, they look back at their life and they realize what, what, what were the main things that got us into hellfire. And they kind of grudgingly and sadly, you know, looking back in a state of sadness and regret, they iterate those crimes, those major, major crimes. And they're captured so beautifully in these passages. First, Allah, they, they say, we were never going to be the ones who prayed. This is different from saying, we didn't pray. We would never be from those who pray. In other words, we wouldn't want anything to do with them. We didn't want to be around them. We, you would never look at us and say, this guy's going to pray. No way, man. Prayer? What a, what a dumb idea. I'm not going to do that. They were above it. You know, you would never find me among those people. And then, interestingly, the next ayah says, And we would never be the ones who would feed or give food to the miskin, the one who can't help himself. Just a little definition is necessary here. Al miskin in Arabic comes from two roots that are fused together, some argue, like Ibn al-Faris argues. And it's actually from the one hand masaka, which is to stop, and sakana, which is also, you know, to, to, to stop eating or to come to a pause and to stay there. In other words, there are people who maybe they weren't bankrupt or homeless or in desperate need to begin with, but they ended up in that situation and they can't get out of it. They're stuck in that state. A lot of times people of wealth that are very arrogant, look at people that are poor and say, why can't they help themselves? Why can't they get a job? Why can't they improve their state? And a lot of them are not just poor. They're not just fuqara, they're masakin. There's a difference. A miskin can't help his situation. The political situation around them, the economic situation around them, the health situation that, that they may be in, the family situation that they may be in, paralyzes them in that state and they're not able to help themselves, right? So these people say, we didn't used to consider ever giving food to them either. So if you're not caring about Allah and you're not caring about humanity, what's left? We used to, this is my own translation, so bear with me. We used to chill, we used to hang out. To just talk, just to run your mouth, just to hang out, just to kill time if you will. We used to just kill time. We had a great time though. Party after party, movie after movie. That's what we did with our life. Travel, you know, vacation spots. That's all our life was. It was nothing else. Allah Azza wa Jalla in this ayah has given us profound wisdom. When you become people of Salat, the opposite is true. When you become people of Salat, your heart softens towards Allah. And if your heart softens towards Allah, then necessarily it softens towards Allah's creation. And you start looking around you of who you can give who you can help. It's supposed to be a natural consequence and the opposite is also true. If you're making salat, but your salat doesn't make you want to give, then maybe there's something wrong with that salat. Because one should lead directly to the next. It should, it should be a natural consequence. You see, salat to us, to the Muslim, if you study Quran, you study the concept of salat in the Quran, salat to us is like a seed and it keeps bearing these different kinds of fruit. So many different things come out of Salat. And one of the fruits of Salat is mentioned in this ayah. And if you're, you're praying, but this fruit isn't manifesting, this plant isn't coming out, and this one of its manifestations being you become concerned for others. You become, you want to give food to others. You know, 
you know, we would never even consider it. That thought didn't even cross our minds. Subhanallah. There are people who assume, unfortunately, that they're people of Allah only by doing one thing or do, doing another thing. Okay, I'm going to make salat. I'm going to make really, really good salat. Then I'm going to recite some Quran. Then I'm going to study some ilm. Then I'm going to do this. And they have a list of things they're going to do. But you know that list comes from Allah. What your priorities should be, what the result of your salat should be, comes from Allah. Salat is not just an act. It's a reorientation of our, pro of our thought process. And so in this beautiful, beautiful ayah, Allah talks about people who didn't really take advantage of their salat. And I want to leave you with this other place in the Quran where Allah talks about a generation of people who are worthless. فَخَلَفَ مِن بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ And what does He say about them? أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةَ It's remarkable. He says about them, they wasted the prayer. He didn't say تَرَكُوا الصَّلَاةَ he aban They abandoned the prayer. أَوْ لَمْ يُصَلُّوا They didn't pray. He didn't say that. He said أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةَ Profound words. They wasted the prayer. In other words, the, this is a seed. If you don't water it, if you don't let its fruits come out, its, its manifestations yield it, for, for it to become, for those things to become reality. And you wasted this beautiful seed. You know, Salat is something that should bring other things to life. That's what it's supposed to do. So may Allah Azza wa Jal make us people of real Salat. People that when they make Salat, they actually, it leads to something. It leads to them wanting to concern themselves with the needs of others. And they don't become insensitive to that. So the only thing they worry about is entertaining themselves. وَكُنَّا نَخُضُ مَعَ الْخَائِضِينَ حَتَّى أَتَانَ الْيَقِينَ Until the, the, you know, and we, we stayed this way until وَكُنَّا نُكَذِّبُ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينَ حَتَّى أَتَانَ الْيَقِينَ We lived a carefree life, we didn't even think about judgment day until the final conviction came to us, which is death itself. May Allah wake us up well before al-yaqeen comes to all of us. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us a people of salah and make us a people who give. And wallahi when we give, maybe our deeds weren't enough but the du'as of those that we gave to. Maybe their du'as are going to be the ones that save us on Judgment Day. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.